Hi, Saul again from Cheap Alarm Parts. Today we're going to show you how to wire up a Bosch PIR. Uh, the first thing we need to do is open it. There's a little picture of a lock at the bottom. Just put a screwdriver into the slot, turn it anti-clockwise a quarter turn, and then push the top of the unit down and it pops open like that. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get a cable into it. Uh, and there's several punch outs for this. There's one at the back here, which is the one that I normally use, but there's one, two at the top that you can use if you want as well. So turn the unit over and I'll punch it out like so. And then you can just break a piece of plastic out like that. And then just push your cable into the slot like that. Inside the detector there sorry inside there are six connectors. The first two are 12 volt power for the unit. Usually you use the red and the black cables for this. It's polarity conscious so make sure the negative goes into the negative and the positive goes into the positive. Also, when you're done, make sure there's no little bits of copper sticking out of the terminals, which could cause a problem later. Now, the next two terminals are the alarm contacts. So these are normally closed when there's no movement, and they open when the sensor sees movement. The next two terminals are the tamper contacts, and this tells us if the sensor is still attached to the back unit, or, and no one has removed the cover while you were away, or when the alarm was turned off. This is more important in commercial installations, not so in residential installations, but it's a good idea to always use the tamper contacts. Now, each sensor needs a resistor, and this is what the alarm panel is actually looking for, and it protects your cabling. So if someone shorts out your cabling to the unit, resistance of the alarm circuit loop becomes zero, and if someone cuts the cable, the resistance becomes infinite or open circuit. Only when the resistor is connected properly um, and is not seeing movement, does the alarm see the 3.3K or the 6.8K resistance of the alarm loop. Obviously, if you're not using a Bosch panel and you're using a different make of panel, you might need different resistors inside your detector. Uh, these are the resistor packs that come with all the Bosch panels. Uh, the 2000 and 3000 series use this type of resistor and the 6000 series looks like this type of resistor. So if you're gonna be connecting to your detector to zones one to eight. We normally use the 3K3. And if you're gonna be connecting your zone to zones nine to 16, we use the 6K8. It's a good idea to cut the resistor off the pack and not pull it out. Sometimes the glue sticks to the copper and it doesn't make a good contact when you put it into the sensor. Okay. Now, uh, the resistor goes from one normally closed contact to the tamper terminal. Uh, these terminals are not polarity conscious, so it doesn't matter which way you put in the resistor or if you use the green cable in one slot and the yellow cable in the other. So let's put the resistor in like that. And you'll end up with uh, two empty screw terminals and two cables for the zone. So just put one in the one. And the other one on the other side. Now these are, it's not polarity conscious, so it doesn't matter which way uh, you put in the green cable or the yellow cable, it will just work. So now you're done. So we tuck the cable back behind the sensor, put the lid on like so, and Put the lid on like so and close the sensor and you're done. If you enjoyed this video, leave your comments below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can catch us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to visit our site www.cheapalarmparts.com.au. See you next time.